This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Uh, hello friends, this is Dr. Deepak Meghur and I'm here with another interesting case of an one-eyed young lady who has a posterior subcapsular cataract with the collab of the iris and a small cornea. On retroillumination on the table we can see 2 to 3 clock hours of zonular dehiscence so i begin the surgery the side ports are created a dispersive ovd is injected uh, to tamponade the area of zonular defect and i'm avoiding the use of trepan blue since it might enter the vitreous cavity through the area of zonular defect and hinder visualization during surgery so one of the most critical steps in such eyes is to get a perfectly center and a perfectly sized rexus. Well, the key thing here is to ensure that the rexus is centered on the lens rather than being centered on the pupil. After the initial puncture, I am using Dr. Haldipoka's forceps to perform the rexus which is decently sized and after completing it looks quite all right the next most critical step in such eyes with compromised zonules is to get a perfect cortical cleaving hydrodissection i can see the posterior fluid wave and it confirms the occurrence of an a good hydrodissection I gently tap the opposite quadrant to let out the trap fluid and confirm that the nucleus is freed from the attachments with the capsular bag. In this case, I am also performing hydrodelineation, hoping that it would be less stressful on the zonules while managing a small nucleus. I gently rotate the nucleus to confirm that it is free from any attachment. At this point, I've decided to postpone my insertion of CTR and uh, since the bag looks reasonably stable, I plan to insert it at a later stage. I proceed to uh, emulsify the nucleus now. Uh, these are my settings. I have lowered the bottle height a little bit than what I usually use and these are my parameters. In this case, the phaco part is probably the easiest one. The nucleus is of ideal grade and could be easily chopped. I bury the phaco tip and perform the vertical chop. The nucleus is then broken down into smaller fragments and then aspirated quite easily. Then the epinucleus is also aspirated safely. And before removing the phaco handpiece, I inject OVD to prevent a sudden shallowing of the anterior chamber. The next step is to remove the cortex very gently. As we reach the area of zonuda dehiscence, the capsule tends to get engaged in the port. By a process of sequential releasing and again regrasping, the thin layer of cortex which is covering the area of zonular defect is gently aspirated out. Eventually the cortex is aspirated safely. Now is the time to insert the CTR into the bag. I fill the bag with 1.4% sodium hyaluronate. The CTR is then gently slipped under the rexus margin and is threaded so that it conforms itself against the equator of the bag. The CTR is maneuvered in such a way that the area of zonular dehiscence is, is well supported by the ring. 
Finally, a multi-piece hydrophobic intraocular lens is placed in the bag. The OVD both in front and behind the lens is gently aspirated and that's it, the case is done. The lens appears to be fairly well centered and this is how the eye looks in the next post-op day. Uh, eventually the patient did well and she was happy with the visual outcome. And thank you for your attention. I hope this helps.